viewers, what do you see in this random looking marsh? Creatures? Bugs? Trees? Moss? Algae? Well, you are about to see. The Chinese dragon. Oh, yes. The Chinese dragon. The Chinese dragon, well, they're a sacred part of China. This is the Chinese dragon. Chinese dragons are in China are depicted as gods who can control the air, the water, the earth. They're basically the avatar of all dragons. These dragons are known to be very large in size, uh, pointing to be around 26 feet tall and being around 100 feet long. These are very, very tall dragons. Compared to a 6 foot 2 tall man like Chris Pratt, they're very large dragons. Now you might be asking, well, they're so generic. They're not. If you think they can't fly, think again. They are dragons with magical powers unlike any other. They can fly without using wings. And that, in fact, there are nine different types of Chinese dragons. The Tianlong, the Celestial Dragons. They're the ones who pull the chariots of the gods and guard their palaces. Basically, they're the horses and they guard their palaces. The horses are the gods. The Shenlong. The spiritual dragon control the wind and the rain. The Fu Can Long butchering these names. The dragons of hidden treasures. Our underworld dragons which guard buried treasures, both natural and man made. Volcanoes are said to be created when they burst out of the ground to the to report to heaven. Dai Long the underground dragons. Our earth dragons who task us to preside over rivers and streams. According to some accounts, they are the female counterpart of Shenlong, and they fly in order to mate. The Yinglong, the, the winged dragons. They are the oldest of all eastern dragons, or Chinese dragons, and the only kind with wings. The Quilong, the Horn Dragons, are considered to be the mightiest of all the dragons. The Panlong, the Coiling Dragons, are water dragons believed to almostly inhabit the lakes of the Orient. The Huanglong, the Yellow Dragons, once emerged from the river Luo and presented the legendary Emperor Fu Hisi with the elements of writing. They are known for their scholarly knowledge. Long Wang, the Dragon King. All rulers are rulers who over each rule each of the four seas, those of the east, south, and west, and north. All their, their true form is that of a dragon. They have the ability to shapeshift into human form. They live in crystal palaces guarded by shrimp soldiers and crab generals. Don't question. The mighty dragons are live in the heavens, and they are gods. But... How would they do in a natural environment? Right now for our old little dragon buddy who's been living in this lake for like a couple of days now. He's been adapting to it. You know. It's the mating season, and he has to get ready. He is going to swim over there. Our protagonist of a Chinese dragon makes it. But he sees that it's already started. 
He's kind of late. He looks around. He sees two dragon, two male dragons, fighting in the distance. These two dragons are trying to hook up. These two over here have already, you know, fucked, and now they're a mated couple. This dragon is a male. This is a female, and this is a male. Our young protagonist is trying to find a mate and finds the red one on the mountain. He then lets out a mighty mating call. The female flies down. And both of them meet each other. Both dragons. Both dragons. Both dragons are interested in each other. So the male performs the mating dance. <laughs> yeah, this is the mating dance. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, anyways, after doing his mating dance, the female is impressed and lets, her, and lets him mate with her. Now, this is the first time a male dragon has ever done this, so she go, he goes in. Now, disclaimer, I'm just going to cut this out, okay? After they're done mating... The female dragon is now this, the, our protagonist is mate. But no. All these other dragons have left already. You know. All these other dragons have left, except these two. These two dragons decided to take this one and decide to rape her. Yes, they tried to rape this dragon, this female, but the female flies away, leaving this guy left. These two other dragons are actually brothers, and they decide to team up. On this dragon, this on our protagonist. The protagonist f tries to fight back, but these two dragons are just too much for him. <laughs> There's a shitload of roaring so far. There's so too much roaring. There's so much roaring, and the man and our protagonist manages to escape. The mating season is over, and the two brothers fly off in shame. But on the other hand, we we follow back to our main protagonist. You know, and the female, and they actually, you know, talk to each other. And now they're just a married couple. 
it'll be a lot it'll be a couple of days before the female starts laying eggs. Consider this the win for the male dragon who gets to start a family and now has a mate and will not die a virgin anymore. This is all we have for today on Dragon World. See you guys later.